How the beavers escaped from the trap. On a forest river lived a family of beavers, a total of 12 animals of various ages and sizes. They lived in harmony, built their dam, swam underwater, wintered together and spent their evenings as family. But one day disaster struck. The beavers had almost finished their dam with just a few more logs to go, when the smallest beaver got caught in a hunter's snare. A snare is a special kind of trap used to catch small animals. The little beaver was stuck in the intricate contraption and couldn't free himself. He cried and struggled, but it was no use. The whole family gathered around. They tried to free the little one, but the snare was too complex for them to understand. What are we going to do? One beaver lamented. The hunters will come to check the traps soon. We'll have to run and save ourselves, said another. And leave the baby to them? The mother beaver protested. No, we won't leave him here alone, said the father beaver firmly. So what? You're suggesting we all walk into the hunter's hands together? The other asked in disbelief. Yes, the father beaver nodded. We're a family and we do everything together. So if we can't free the little one, then we'll all go to the hunters together. But that's certain doom, the others exclaimed. Anyone who wants to leave can go, the mother beaver said resolutely. But I'm staying here with my baby. No one dared to show cowardice. The entire beaver family stayed by the snare with the trapped little one. When the hunters arrived, they were very surprised. Well, this is unexpected, said one of the hunters, a young man. The trap is designed for one animal, but here's a whole brood. Careful, said the second hunter, a young woman. Beavers have very sharp front teeth. If they feel threatened, they might bite your leg. All right, the young man replied, cautiously pointing his gun at the beavers just in case. We'll have to bag them and take them home. To the hunter's surprise, the beavers didn't resist at all as they were bagged and carried to the pickup truck parked on the forest road. Little did hunters know, the older beavers had instructed everyone to stay calm and allow themselves to be captured. The young hunters arrived at their hunting lodge just as dusk was falling. So what should we do with them? asked the young woman. I don't feel like dealing with them tonight, the man replied. Let's stash the bags in the sauna and sort it out tomorrow. And so they did. They left the bags in the riverside sauna and went to the cabin to rest after a long day. What do we do now? one of the beavers asked inside a bag. Didn't you hear what the young huntress said? replied the eldest. She said beavers have very sharp front teeth, so use them. Chewing through the bags was no trouble for the beavers. They quickly freed themselves, looked around and burst out laughing. The beavers were laughing so hard they had tears in their eyes. Can you believe it? The mother beaver chuckled. They locked a family of beavers inside a wooden building. They must be really young hunters who don't know a thing about beavers, the father beaver added. All right, everyone, enough laughing, let's get to work. The beavers got busy doing what they do best, knowing through wood. Before long, the sauna was filled with wood shavings and the beavers had made a wide hole in the wall. Look, there is even a river right outside, the father beaver laughed. These clumsy hunters really made it easy for us. We'll just float downstream and head straight home. Wait a minute, said the mother beaver. We were just a few logs short of finishing our dam. This sauna is made of excellent wood. It would be a shame not to take some with us. The beavers eagerly dismantled parts of the wooden building, taking several good logs with them. With jokes and laughter, all twelve beavers dove into the river, grabbed their prize logs and swam home to finish their dam. 
The next morning, the young hunters emerged from their cabin, stretched after a good night's sleep, and stared in shock at the pile of wood shavings left behind where the sauna used to be.